Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. Into three, Las Palmas nil. Another pre-season friendly and another pre-season win and another two goals from Mehdi Tarami who is on the fire in this pre-season. But let's get straight into business before we review this game, which is the kits, the new kit. Of course, if you saw my reaction the other day to when the kit was released, I gave it a six out of 10. But as always, once the players wear it, everything improves and i saw the comments are already improving a lot of the people that were not big fans of the kit already changing their mind a little bit and you can see it here what as soon as you pair it the kit with the shorts and i was talking about this this kit you have to look at it in a totality the kit the shorts even the socks as a totality as a complete package this is a nice kit now seven out of ten together if you take it individually, if you take the shorts on their own, you wear them, you know, uh, some of the players were wearing it. Let me show you in the um, in the build-up, in the warm-up, with a nice new warm-up T-shirt, by the way. I really like that's this one. But you see it worn here, and it just looks out of, out of place. Um, so the shorts on their own, not that good. But with the kit, really, really nice package. Uh, again, I'm still not a fan of, like, having the patch on the side for the Scudetto. But yeah, it is what it is. It looks nice. And I think, you know, again, maybe not my favorite. I don't think I will buy it, especially now that I think of it as a complete package. I'm not a full kit wanker. I don't buy shorts and the, the shirt together. Not, not against any of you guys if you do buy it together. This year is actually a good opportunity to do it. But I personally won't because I just buy the the T-shirt. The I don't actually wear shorts in general that much. Uh, and Bisek, speaking, let's talk about the game now. Bisek is looking good in the kit, but he was my man of the match. Of course, Taremi, two goals, probably here. Yeah, it thought Mob gave him the man of the match quite rightly. But in general, Bisek, wow. Big, big positive note from today. Not just today, even the previous games. He's really, you know, in the absence, or today they returned Bastoni and Acerbi. We're still waiting for Pavard, of course. He's really stepping up in their absence. He is... Um, knocking on the door he's telling Inzaghi bro you know Benji Pavard if he's injured or he's not coming back you know fully fit I'm ready um or if he has a drop in form I'm ready um really really impressive he's saying you know not just in terms of what we know ball playing personality like he set up the you know the penalty that Taremi won B6 set it up with a with an amazing little run did a few of those but just defensively as well solid Looks very assured in himself. Like now, he feels, he seems like, you know, he feels at home at Inter. He's not feeling like, oh, you know, I've come from the Danish league and I need to prove myself. Like, you know, he he knows um, that this could be a big year for him. And again, played at right centre-back, but maybe, you know, people have talked about it. Could he be, you know, in the middle of the three? Uh, he's got potential. He's definitely got potential. Let's see what Inzaghi thinks of him. Martinez, decent outing, not really tested in terms of saves. Made one mistake playing out from the back where he tried to force the pass to Zielinski, even though he was marked. But that's the only real mistake I remember. Apart from that, he was good on the ball. Uh, and he was good, actually, a couple of times. He come, he came out and claimed the ball really nicely. I really, really liked that. He was very uh, quick off the line. Very, very quick off the line, which is nice to see from an inter-goalkeeper because, you know, uh, years of... Uh, after Samir Handanovic, that, that was never one of his strengths. Um, any other, in terms of uh, positive notes, Mikitarian being the captain, uh, that was nice. You know, of course, the oldest player in this in this lineup. Bags of experience, bags of charisma. Um, fits him, fits him really well, the, 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 the captain's armband. And he played quite well. He played quite well, set up the goal for Tarami. Then ended up playing up front for a few minutes until he was subbed off uh, at the 82nd minute. Um, yeah, Zielinski is going to have a hard year trying to displace him. And speaking of Zielinski, um, good outing from him. Let's see if we can find a you know quick picture of uh, Zielinski with the uh, with our shirt because um, he looked good in the shirt as well. Where is he? There he is. <clears throat> Still, you know, getting to grips with things. Um, still looks like he's playing with a little bit of a handbrake on. Uh, needs to get into shape. But overall, decent outing from Zielinski as well. 95% uh, pass accuracy. Some of those little cuts, cutbacks, and, you know, those little feints that he does, fake shots, like, you know, really, really good to watch. But 
no end product as yet. Uh, Aslani, it's good to see if you if you watch him closely. I do I, every time Aslani plays, I do watch him very closely with a keen eye. Um, aside from his passing and stuff, he was very active off the ball. Like you can tell he's he's trying to improve off the ball. You know, he was good for Albania at the Euros, but we know if he wants to really stake a claim to Hakan's spot, he needs to improve off the ball defensively, dual winning physically. He's trying. He's still, you know, on the lighter side of things. He's still, you can see, he go he goes really hard into a tackle, but he doesn't really move the the player. You know, he he goes into the tackle and he gets moved himself. But you can see there's a bit more um, aggressiveness, a bit more grinta about him when he's going into duels now, which is nice to see. So uh, he's slowly getting there. A neat, nice free kick attempt. Um, he almost scored a good, good save by the goalkeeper. But yeah, overall midfield was good. Um, Control the midfield well. Kamate, given a low rating, yeah, he was nice. Um, you know, he's a winger by trade, and obviously he's having to play as a bit of a wing back here, cutting in with his left footed, so not ideal for him. But he's okay, but, you know, he's definitely, you can tell, he's not really ready for Inter. He's going to have to go out on loan, and, you know, if he is a winger winger, there isn't really a place for him in this team, unfortunately. Speaking of the same, Agume today, Kept uh, played again as centre back in the middle of the three, um, but it looks like hopefully, but um, not Valencia, um, Sevilla are going to be pulling the trigger finally to sign him on the permanent. Last year he was on loan. There was an option to buy for eight million. They're saying they're looking to pay about five million, but you know at this rate, you know again I feel sorry for this guy. I feel like he did deserve a chance, maybe. Not now that Aslani and Hakan are in this position, but, you know, previous years. Um, but hopefully, yeah, he gets sold. But he's done well. He's done okay as centre-back. And Correa, you didn't even need the decent, you know. Of course, he had those few of those brain fart Correa moments where he gets into good position and completely makes the wrong decision or somehow slips over or doesn't get the shot away. But overall, actually, he's working hard. But, you know, he's not tricking us. He's not tricking Inzaghi, hopefully, with his hard work and decent performances because, yeah, that's another one that just needs to be sold, whatever happens. But, yeah, speaking of Tarami, you know, um surprised that he yeah, actually didn't complete that many passes. But in general, he was good. Uh, Hold-up play, link-up play was good. Of course, two goals, high school, winning the penalty and scoring the penalty straight down the middle, very, very good. Um, and then the other one, a tap-in from Mkhitaryan's assist, nice. Nice. Um, yeah, very, very good performance by the team. 3-0. Not really uh, challenged at all defensively, really, by Las Palmas. So I'm hoping the next few games, uh, let's have a look what the next few fixtures are because I do want Inter to be challenged a little bit more. Yeah, Pisa, uh, you know, Serie B team. Not really what we're looking for. Ali Tiad, maybe, you know, Benzema. Diaby, Usem Hawar. Um maybe they can offer a little bit more of a, a challenge for us because we do need to, you know, up the intensity a little bit. And then, yeah, of course, Chelsea will be a good test before. Um, and, yeah, Di Marco, what a goal, what a world-class goal he managed to score. Uh, coming on as a substitute in the, what minute did he come on? Let's have a quick look. I think he was like 70th something minute. 63rd minute, yeah, really, really nice goal. Um, you know, we know Di Marco doesn't have the legs. He couldn't be bothered to continue running. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to try and lob this guy. He did really well, and we know how good his left foot is, and hopefully he continues that into the season because he did have a stinky Euro, so hopefully he's left that behind. And it was great to see the big boys back, you know, Pratesi, Bastonia, Cerbi, Darmian, Barella. All the big boys are coming back, of course. Now we're just waiting for Benji Pavard and Lautaro Martinez uh, and Valentin Carboni, yeah. Looks like he will be um, loaned out to Marseille. Um, Marseille going to pay us with that for, for that loan. They're saying potentially three or four, five million even, which is quite expensive for a for a loan of a guy like Carboni. But that money plus Agume, maybe Satriano, that money will then be used for Inter's dream. I've talked to to you guys about it for a while now. Good Munson. Um, it's quite easy to tell with Inter, like, when the rumours start, you know, in April, May, who is the number one target for Inter. Because of the case going around Goodmanson, there's not a lot of 
hype around him. A lot of talk about him, but that still remains Inter's target. Albert Goodmanson from Genoa, second striker that, you know, ideally is the replacement to Correa and Alexis Sanchez to compete with Marcus Tram. And that would really nicely iron out this team. Oh, yeah, Fontana Rosa was actually decent as well. I don't really rate him. I don't think he's into material, but he was decent, nice left foot. He actually uh, was part of the build-up to Taremi's um, tap-in goal with Mkhitaryan. Bakilas pre-assist, uh, nice run as well. Um, but, yeah, another one that just needs to be loaned out and seeing, you know, in a year, and we can uh, we can judge him. We can judge him there. Um but yeah, overall, very good. Let's have a quick look at the stats. So oh, actually quite surprising that Las Palmas had so much of the ball. We did um, control. I felt like we controlled it quite well. But I guess, yeah, we just let them have the ball. And yeah, no, the center team, even without, you know, our starting center back in defense lineup, we're looking very, very solid. Um, so continuing where we left off from last year. And yeah, next up, we've got Pisa, um, Al Etihad and Chelsea. So let's see how those go and hopefully... Marotta, Auxilio and Cole can give Inzaghi a few more pieces to complete the squad. But yeah, you guys let me know down in the comments down below. What did you make of the kit, the full kit with the shorts as well? I want, I want your rating now. I want your honest rating now. Um, now that we've seen it on the players. As I said, now my rating has moved up to a 7 out of 10. Be sick, my man of the match, but also great work from Taremi. You let me know in the comments down below. Any youth players that you're impressed by or that you want to see more of, let me know. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Porta Inter.